Hey guys, I'm Fossil Magical from the Fossil Kingdom. Oh, you know what? If Fern doesn't go to five, that's why it's not. Alright, calm. Shrink the nine. Hey guys, I'm Fawful Magical from the Fawful Kingdom, and today we are exploring the Oxy Tower, which is short for Occidental Chemicals which is the company responsible for the Love Canal tragedy. Let me backtrack, though, because originally I wasn't even planning on doing a video this time around. So basically, me and Alice decided to head to Niagara Falls just to talk about life and see the falls, obviously. When we got there, we actually there was a lot of people around. I think it was some kind of festival. There was a bunch of food trucks and music and a lot, a lot of people around the falls. So we just kind of walked around and we decided to go into the made in america store which is the tower we are currently exploring well i knew about this tower previously about its history and everything and i've wanted to explore it for a while but i definitely did not expect on exploring it today which is why this video is starts in the middle of the adventure but the adventure has still just begun because like i said i was not planning on this if you don't know about love canal i'll leave a link in the description of my previous video earlier this year in february about how we discussed love canal and we explored the neighborhood but briefly love canal is essentially a neighborhood with chemicals under it previously within the past like 100 years or something and they built houses on top of it so for generations and generations families have been having birth defects and lots of problems and eventually they all evacuate in this tower the office buildings we are currently exploring were the people responsible for putting those chemicals under the houses well i guess technically the chemicals were put there first and then the houses were but you get the idea to make a long story brief at first this building was essentially the hooker building and no i, I don't mean the actual hookers you know what i mean basically it was the hooker chemical company which was bought in 1986 by occidental petroleum occidental petroleum eventually bought love canal and we all know what they did to be fair though the u.s eventually did file a six million dollar lawsuit against the oxy tower and in 1983 the u.s department of justice sued the oxy tower the occidental petroleum for 45 million dollars so they can help the residents and clean up the basically area of love canal then in 1996 these oxy motherfuckers wanted to leave so they sold it to frank parlato jr who from this day still owns the building so parlato actually tried turning the building into an oceanographic aquarium which never ever got finished but unfortunately, the first and second, and apparently now third, floors are only allowed to be used due to code violations. So Parlato either could have had the building shut down or demolished immediately, or have fixed up the building so they can follow the codes. So this dude decided to do the bare minimum. Like I said, only the third and to the first floor are allowed to be used to this day. And that brings us to the present. It seems that this building has not changed a bit from years previously, but um yeah bye whatever works works our stories we need in the this is exactly what it looked like in the video Fucking hot though. Oh yeah. These were office buildings at one point, and they were tied to the Love Canal tragedy. You know about Love Canal? No. I'll tell you about it another time. The sure the view from Hotel Niagara would be a little better though, and not fucking hot.
I think though um, they were gonna do like renovations over here, but that was like two years ago. So yeah. I'm not. I think they were gonna do like renovations up here. But that was like two years ago. So I also probably could have parked over there. Here's an event going on right now. I don't know what it is for certain, but it's a lot of food and a lot of people. That up? No, I thought that was open up there. Why would they leave like the ninth floor of all the floors open? That makes no sense to me. Uh, you can't go to six, so you can go to nine. Can we take the stairs and check the other floors? Check out the few of Oh yeah. Pizza the public. <laughs> no, not bad. Wow. There's the abandoned hub. Uh, what's it called? Abandoned Mount St. Mary's nursing home. Heard it's a little dangerous there though, so well, I'll probably go there eventually. There's Ken can't. I almost just said Canada. Canada. There's the Ferris wheel over there. Oh God! Be a little careful though, because there's people everywhere. Yeah. Pretty exposed. I don't. Know. When we get down now, right, you take my picture before we go. Mm, yes, nice and dark. You gotta learn how to pick lots. Yeah, I want to pick that up, but. Bro, how is the ninth floor open, but not? That's literally one to the roof, bro. The most dangerous one of them all. I don't know if I want them to go to six. Watch none of these be all places you These were the offices. Wire. Wire butts. Wasn't planning on it. Oh, this is so cool though. Let's check these rooms. No, there's nothing in here. Crazy neck. Look at this, bro. It's 
little souvenir. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Ellis. Anything in there? No. I think this is where we came from. I don't think this is where it came from. This thing wasn't this leaf, so um, where we came from. Well, here, let's find the elevators first because I think those will lead us back. Yeah. Oh wait, you're right, yeah. Steps. There we go. Let's look around a little more and just walk out. Like, what are they really gonna do? I don't think there's anything else. I hear things, I hear people. No, nah, we just went through there. There's nothing to the left? Um. Let's just explore this quickly and then get the fuck out.
Santa's workshop. That is the fucking gift shop of Niagara Falls, whatever. One of the greatest wonders of the world. Look at the mist, bro. Beautiful. Yeah, water creates mist. Yeah, thanks, asshole. I didn't fucking figure that one out. You know one time like years ago, they like tried covering up Niagara Falls so the waterfall would stop and then I forgot what happened. There was like some terrifying shit down there. I watched a video on it. There was like, there was like dead bodies, skeletons, bro. You, you fucking name it. Yeah, but that's why they tried covering it up? They tried covering it up, I think. They tried sending it like another way through New York, but I think they were like risking that Niagara Falls would be like no more. Does that make any sense? Like, yeah, I don't know. Explain it. It's not like a stupid idea to begin with. I don't remember why they did it though. It was like years and years ago. I feel like something like this would be almost impossible to control. No, no, they did it, but they almost took away one of the world's greatest attractions. How did they do it? Uh, I think they covered it up with like rock or cement or something. I don't remember exactly, they made like a whole plan. You know guys, being here is actually really peaceful. About nine, I think almost 10. They turned on the lights too, it's really, really beautiful. Even though it's just white right now. But, yeah. This is a really nice spot to come to. It's one of the greatest attractions in the world for a reason after all. Okay, so, so we back, we go into the other falls, which I fucking forgot what it's called. There just went, it was a firework that just went off, so we might have to go back and check out the fireworks. But they got prettier lights over this other waterfall. What was it called? American Falls, I think. I don't fucking remember, I'm not gonna lie. Bro, what are you doing? Dude, I'm going Happy breath of July, even though it's June 25th. By the way, a year ago from today, I graduated high school. I graduated high school a year from today. Wow, it's crazy. Uh huh. Go 
Chili's. We stopped at Papa John's, not for pizza, but a burger because the pizza was too expensive for my liking. Yeah, so now we're just waiting. I think it's about the end of the venture though, but we're not completely done yet. This is not the outro. All right, boys. It's uh, the end of the episode. Thanks for watching. Uh, we're obviously gonna be back to Niagara Falls sometime this summer soon. Cause there's, I think an abandoned mall, which I wanna do. I don't know when for show, for a show yet, but yeah. And for whatever event was today, let me know in the comments because I have no fucking clue. And yeah, um, I get no bitches, but thanks for watching. Stay magical and love life from the brothel kingdom. Thanks boys.